Oh my crate number three! So excited! Oh. And it was upside down. That's my bad. Oh my crate! Okay. I have to admit something. This is gonna be my last Umai crate for a little bit, just because um, with the exchange rate and the shipping is just a little out of reach at the moment. I'm investing in a few other boxes uh, to reveal instead for the meantime. Plus I also have a bunch of ramen from last month that I need to still eat and actually I think one or two from the first month. Doesn't mean I'm gonna stop Umai Crate. I absolutely adore this crate. It is so much fun and it's so exciting to be able to um, reach out to my Japanese friends and ask like, hey, what should I use this for? It says it's suggesting this, this use for this product. How else can I use it? You know, it's, it's such a, a talking point and it's so much fun and I reap the benefits because the ramen's really delicious. I don't think I've had a ramen that I don't like so far. So here's August, it got a little crinkled, that's okay. August Umai crate, da, da, da. recipe card. Mm. Uh, yes, please, eggplant and tofu stir fry. That's gonna tell me what the special recipe ingredient is, so I don't want to look at that just yet. Top item. I don't know what that is. Let's look it up. Crispy salad noodles. These Sara Udon crispy fried noodles are perfect to combine with a number of different dishes from salads to ramen to much more. Try the top salad, okonomiyaki, or ramen. Cool, so it's just a little, little crispy treat put on top of things. That's nice. I recognize this beauty. We just had this one from last month's crate. Uh, just the other day actually. I put a whole bunch of like pork and um, the little swirly fish cake things in it and a boiled egg. So this is the Nature Ramen Shio. Enjoy the taste of shio, salt, ramen without the guilt with this healthy version from Kenko Foods. Add your favorite vegetables and meats to make it more filling and tasty. And that's one thing that I do with all of these. For each recipe, I add extra fun stuff because, I mean, if you were to just eat plain ramen, don't get me wrong, love it, delicious, salty, soupy goodness, but they're just not super filling. So uh, here is Tokyo soy sauce ramen. Enjoy a tasty bowl of shoyu ramen with this easy to make pack. The noodles are a medium thin curly dried noodle that has been aged with a low temperature for 48 hours rather than being fried with oil the traditional way. Um, that's so cool. Top with your favorite cooked protein and sauteed vegetables to make it an extra filling meal. That sounds delicious and really a cool way that they process their noodles. Here is cold ramen. I haven't gotten around to eating the cold ramen yet. Like I'm assuming, yeah, you boil the noodles and then you have to cool them down. Maybe I'll do like a cold ramen day where all I do is make cold ramen, cold noodle salads or something. I don't know. Hayashi Chuka Ramen is back for another summer appearance. Oh, I missed last summer's or the previous summer's appearance. This dish is such a tasty summertime staple that you have to eat it as much as you can while you can. The chilled noodles and sauce are included, so just add your favorite toppings. Okay, maybe I will. Whoa. What is this? Oh, yes! Japanese style sesame miso sauce. Enjoy sesame miso atop any noodles you like with this flavorful sauce. This sesame miso sauce is made with miso, bonito, ground sesame, and more for a yummy flavor in each bite. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love getting these like 
liquid things. It makes me feel like I'm getting more when I feel the weight. I know it's not actually, but I pretend. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, this one's going to be hard for me to say, and I apologize in advance for butchering the Japanese language. Tanukyoyaji Super Spicy Mazemen. Mazemen is a no broth ramen. Ooh. Enjoy this spicy bowl of mazemen when you're in the mood for heat and spice. At first, the flavor from the sauce starts off sweet, but as you continue to chow down, the spice spreads from the chili peppers. Be sure to have a drink on standby. Can you handle the heat? Uh, ooh, my crate. Challenge accepted. This sounds delicious and super spicy. And, I mean, I guess I can add things to it. It says green onions and mayonnaise. Mayo is probably to buffer the heat. I'm excited to try this one. Oh, the decorations at the top. Chili peppers. It is going to be spicy. Can't wait. That'll be fun. Here. Ah, a cup noodle. <gasps> is that yuzu? Is that yuzu? Yuzu somen? Yuzu somen are going to be mine. Yuzu is a citrus fruit closely resembling a grapefruit and a mandarin orange. Take your taste buds for a spin with this somen. Dressed with a light, refreshing yuzu fragrance this summer season. But try it with bonito flakes, egg, and green onion. Know how I knew it was yuzu? The little yellowy lemony thing. I just love this. I One of the little mini noodle packs from last month's crate. And actually, I think the crate before, possibly, it had a light, it was a yuzu lemon. Oh, and it had these little flower bits in it too. Um, it had the yuzu lemony flavor, citrus flavor. So good. Oh, another cold noodle. Cold noodle udon. Yes, I love udon. In the summer, it's common to eat chilled noodles rather than hot dishes in Japan. Enjoy slurping these refreshing chili pepper and crunchy tempura seasoned udon noodles that are super easy to make too on a hot summer's day. It looks super easy. It looks like it's the add water kind where you just add water to the, the line and let it sit. I like those because they are like the easiest maintenance for making food. And this is the bonus. Asahi tofu. I'm so excited to try this. Amp up your soups and stew dishes in a jiffy by adding this tofu to the mix. This pack contains koya tofu, also known fro as frozen dried tofu, a pantry staple in Japan. It is made of soybeans, coagulants, and baking soda. It looks like a hard sponge and needs to be soaked before use. You add it to miso soup. Good thing I can buy miso soup at the grocery store here. Anyways, this crate is amazing. Quite frankly, it looks delicious. And let's get a pretty shot here. Semi propped up pretty shot. I can do that, can't I? Sure I can. There. Got a little bit of that action, a little bit of this action. Oop. Oop, that's not gonna work out. Ah. Like, seriously, how do you even pack it back into the box? Because there's so much stuff. Plus a recipe card. Uh, that's amazing and I'm pretty pumped that I got to have this one more time. For a while anyways. Um, I'm going to focus on a couple of other subscription boxes that are coming through my oh, through my door over the next little bit. So, as much as I love my Umai crate, which I really do, I like, this is such a fun crate to get. I absolutely adore it, but um, for now, that, I'll just have more photos on the Late to the Races website and of my creations and hopefully pick up another pick up where I left off with Umai crate maybe in the new year anyways like subscribe hit that bell for alerts 
and I'll see you next time.